How nice was that? Oh, uh, you know, good. And I think it, you know, it gives us additional size at the point guard position and versatility. A guy who has a good uh, defensive element to his game, uh, who's also at an age where he's both experienced and, you know, has a lot of room for growth. So I think that's good. And I think with Timothy Mozgov, he's, he's uh, again, an experienced player. He's very bright. Uh, he's a big body, and he's a much better athlete than people give him credit for. So, you know, now we'll see. We'll bring him in and start to get to know them. A lot of people have thought with Jerry and Grant with a bigger role. I mean, his assist to turnover ratio is really good. He puts up good solid numbers that he can take the step. What, what do you think he could do for you? Well, we'll see. I mean, I, I think, again, is, uh, you know, you never know a player until you coach him. So, again, like, I, I mean, it all starts with, uh, you know, he has the size, athleticism, and I think natural intensity level to play against, uh, you know, the better players. And um, now it's just going to be a question of evaluating, getting to know him, working with him. And, and uh, hopefully, again, he's at an age where he could take a step. And, you know, that's what plays out in the next few months or a year or so. Steve, do you, en Steve, do you envision him sliding him as the second string point guard or, or I'll be honest do you, do I don't I don't I, I don't do it that way you know I've never coached him um, you know he's never been a full-time starter I mean again like to me that's all conjecture you bring him in you work with him you see where he's at and then you make a decision DJ Augustine is a very good player professional player he's proven he can play against starters he's a knockdown shooter uh, he's a terrific pick and roll player, and um, you know I have a lot of confidence in the kind of year that he can have. But when we make trades or bring guys in, you're going to find you can, I, I'm not into he can do this, he can do that. Let's get him here, start to work with him, see what kind of worker he is. Some guys can take off immediately; other guys take more time, um, and that's just to me that's just the pragmatic way that you should work with your roster. Watching Mozgov last year, looking at his stat line, it's impossible not to notice he played in 31 games, right. averaged 11 minutes per game, that he's more of a traditional center. Right. Uh, under what circumstances, under what types of matchups can he be effective in today's NBA? I'd say against other traditional centers. You know, um, he does, I believe, you know, have the ability to step out and shoot corner threes, which I think he's added to his game, um, but he's a, big, he's a big guy with a live body, and, um, you know, uh, but that's what I would say, you know, against other teams that play, you know, more traditional guys are probably out range shooting centers. With regard to Jerry and Grant's height, 6'4", how does that impact what this team, what your team could do defensively? What, what oh, options I, does it no, the, potentially it, give? It's a big plus. I mean, I think also in today's NBA, because, uh, you know, versatility, being able to play two positions is important, you know. So at his size, uh, it's possible that he could play both the one and then also play some with DJ in certain situations if he can guard the two.